I've set up um, the test tubes and the first is the deionized water for the negative control and the second is for the positive control so for fats I've just used olive oil then we have our bread our cheese spread our banana and our milk so to test for fats there's two different ways of doing this one you can put some of the solution onto a bit of brown paper and see if it leaves grease another is to add some ethanol to the solution so I'm going to add some ethanol to each of them I'll just quickly add to the whole lot and then talk through the reaction hopefully that's enough so to our first one if I give it a shake you can see it's kind of one layer it looks much the same as water so there's been no reaction that was our that was our water to the next one it's our olive oil and if I give it a shake hopefully you can see there's little globules of fat that have formed might be quite hard to see in the camera as I rock it back and forth there's globules so this shows that there's fat in the olive oil next if I take the bread give it a mix there doesn't seem to be any globules in there then for the cheese spread give it a mix and if I tilt it like that you can see some globules so what does this mean for our banana I can see a bit of floating banana and while on the camera it might look like globules of fat it doesn't seem to be when I can look at it with my eye and finally the milk you can see with the milk there's this massive separation so and lots and lots of globules even floating on the top so what does this mean so trying to work out yourself which ones contain fat 